Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we're looking at a watch from a new micro brand, MT and W. Uh, they were founded in well last year, the year of 2020, and they make modern vintage watches. Uh, they started the brand to offer 70 styles, 70s style affordable watches. So I think their claim to fame right now is that they have these vintage patina dials and this is done through a, a hand applied chemical process so every dial will be slightly different hopefully you can see this dial here the dome crystals making it a little difficult to look at this dial let's zoom in a little bit more so speaking of the crystal it is a, a hardened crystal so I don't believe it is sapphire it is a hardened dome crystal I think it's similar to a hard lex or another type of mineral crystal that's a little bit more scratch resistant than just standard mineral crystal but anyway here's a close look at the dial uh, the sub dials are a lot easier to see under magnification like this but uh, by eye at least my eye it's not so easy to see the numbers on the sub dial also the numbers on the the uh, bezel here as well aluminum bezel with uh, printing on here now let me start the chronograph it is using a Seiko mecha course movement the dome crystal does look nice but it's for my eye it's a little hard to tell the time on it the indices are not loomed it's just uh, Applied indices. It's a good looking watch though. It uh, it looks good. And they have six other colorways. They have, uh, well, this one here is the Eclipse. Then they have a Panda dial. Then they have another one that's called the W Panda. Then they have a blue dial, a green dial, and a gray dial. I think I would go for the Panda. It's, uh, well, it's basically the opposite of this. Sub dials are lighter color, and then the inner dial here is black, and then the outer dial is uh, white. The outer portion of the dial, I should say. Let's zoom back out. You get a sense of this dome here. Got a bit of distortion to it as well. In my unboxing, I couldn't figure out if it was sapphire or hardlex, uh, hardlex, hesolite, or plastic, whatever you want to call it, in. Uh, well, it was neither of those things. It is a hardened crystal. So you can see the watch is all polished. Gathered my fingerprints already. It does have a signed crown. And that is a push-pull crown. Now, I don't know what the water resistance is on this watch. I didn't see that listed anywhere. I would imagine 50 or... I don't know. It should be at least 50 meters water resistant. So, the subdials here, the right subdial is a 24 hour dial. The bottom one, the 6 o'clock, is your running second dial. And then the 9 o'clock dial is your minute uh, countdown timer or your minute um, subdial for the chronograph. Looks like there may be some loom applied to the hands. We'll check it out at the end of the video here. I right, let's stop this. And then this second hand will snap back just like a mechanical movement, but it is a quartz. There we go. Snapped right back. So I do like that. I also like the mechanical like sweep at uh, 4 beats per second. So it is a 316L stainless steel case. As I mentioned, it is polished. It has these double curved lugs or liar lugs, similar to what you see on an Omega Speedmaster. Not done quite as well, but um, I don't know if I mentioned yet, but this watch will be coming to Kickstarter soon. I'll leave that right at the top of the description because I haven't mentioned that yet. But it will be coming to Kickstarter soon, and the price for this watch... The Super Early Bird and the Early Bird are both below $200. I think I heard on Rob's video that it's, I think it's $168 for the 
for this super early bird and then the early bird is 188. Uh, I didn't see that written anywhere so um, that's what I heard from his video. So let's go over the dimensions and I'll put this on wrist. All right, so we have a lug to lug of 48.1 millimeter, 48.1. The watch diameter, I measured this bezel here right in at 40, 40.0 40 millimeters. And the case goes straight up and down. There's no curvature to the case, the slab sided case. Uh, the crown is a push pull crown. And the pushers don't lock down or anything. The thickness on this with this extra domed crystal, the super dome here is 13.8 millimeter. A little thicker than I'd like, but you kind of have to uh, deal with that to get this look. Lug width is 20 and it tapers down to 18 millimeter. So let me get this on wrist. Let's activate that chronograph again just because I like to see it sweeping by there. Uh, this is a leather strap, obviously a padded leather strap. Looks like it's made in Italy. Genuine leather. As I discovered in my unboxing, uh, it needs some more slots here for my six and a half inch wrist. So hopefully they'll add some more slots to the leather strap. Or perhaps offer different size straps. They could add probably at least two more for it to be optimally sized for my wrist. So you can see how far it goes up on my arm here. So there's a look at it on my six and a half inch wrist. Uh, sizing of the watch would be perfectly fine for my wrist other than the issue with the strap. And I'll zoom out here in a moment. All right, let's just zoom out. You'll see the glass jar in the back and the box, I guess, too. There we go. I guess it looks a little bit larger on my wrist from this perspective. Maybe not. It's a nice, dressy looking chronograph watch. I would go check out their other options, um, you know, for the price, especially that super early bird price. It's really not a bad deal. I, I, of course, would prefer that it had a sapphire crystal, but, you know, that adds cost. Yeah, there is some loom on there. All right, let me pause the video and we'll take a look at the loom. You know, throw my Seiko in here. I'm sure it won't be a fair comparison at all, but... I'll be right back. All right, so there we go. The quick loom comparison. The hands actually do have a, a fair amount of loom to them. Unfortunately, there's no loom on the indices, so I guess it'll get you close enough for time, but um, not all that precise. But it's not a dive watch. It's just a fun, um, vintage-styled dress chronograph. So if you have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you've liked it. And leave a comment below. Greatly appreciate any feedback you can provide. Uh, also, I just realized I forgot to mention that the minute track around there is red. And that matches the red stitching on the leather strap. So let me know what you guys think of this watch. And like I said, I'll leave a link in the description for the Kickstarter campaign. As always, thank you for taking the time. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you on the next video.